Hey, uh, uh, it's July the 23rd, 2018. You know, I've just been grinding away at this uh, particular situation that we've been talking about. It's Parkland, uh, the Florida shooting, the Nicholas Cruz. Uh, the the fact that a lot of us don't believe the story we've been told simply because of evidence we found so much overwhelming evidence that something has to be a mess here All right so you know I'm building up evidence I'm gathering details compiling them and it's a lot of them All right more than I could count probably countless ones uh, I thought I would go over just real briefly um, today what I got over before a couple of times, and that is the <laughs> the chilling animation that we were given. We're actually given it months ago. The chilling animation doesn't hardly make much sense. Now, there's a lot of details probably you could throw at this animation and say, hey, you don't make sense. Not even a little bit. Right, and we've discussed a few of the details. I just want to discuss a, a few more of the details before we get out of here. If you watch the animation, you can start, and I have been linking certain dots to certain people. Certain dots represent certain people, and you can know who they are. It's not hard. Uh, you do a little research, you, you, you hear testimonials, you'll link it together. All right? So a long time ago, we figured out that Chris McCann is the, the dot. He's the particular dot that ran for his life. He didn't try to save nobody else's life. He ran like a coward, unfortunately. Uh, Chris McKenna ran. But you know, it's interesting. If you watch the animation that we were given, and you listen to the story that he told, he told you that he, went to, he was going to the stairwell. Why? Because he had to go to the bathroom. Why? Because he had to go to the third story bathroom. Why? It's because the first story bathroom was locked. Why? I don't know. I don't know, but I tell you this, the animation has Chris McKenna going straight directly from uh, classroom 216. He goes d directly from 1216 to uh, the stairwell. He doesn't go to the own bathroom. He's not at the first story bathroom. Perhaps, I'm not sure where the bathroom is, perhaps he looked down at the bathroom and realized that it was locked simply by looking at it. Perhaps the bathrooms were already locked and he already knew. They had some weird confusion going on around the school about the bathrooms and security due to people smoking cigarettes in the bathroom, which strikes me as a, um, um, Pathetic excuse. That's what, it's, that's what it strikes me as. Oh, we gotta have top security on school today because we found some kids smoking in the bathroom. That's stupid. That's unbelievable. I mean, you might be able to get students to buy that, but I'm not gonna buy that. All right, so uh, just to carry on a little bit further, a couple other things that I wanted to point out, right, is if you watch the animation, you gotta watch it closely. You're gonna notice, though, that there's certain parts of the animation that jump around. It's very subtle. But watch it. You're going to see them jump around. You're going to notice that there's certain uh, periods of time that are just not accounted for. There's small periods of time. Right? Like, for example, from um, uh, 2.22 and 27 seconds to uh, two, uh, 22 and 32 seconds, the five second gap, that's, that's gone. You don't see that in the animation. All right, you might consider, okay, maybe they're, they're editing the animation so just to keep us entertained. The animation isn't for being entertained. It's for knowing what happened in that damn school. It's not for being entertained. So y'all leaving little gaps, five second gaps in your animation is not acceptable. Right. So that was five second. That was a five second gap, and then uh, at two minutes twenty five, uh, or actually two hours twenty five minutes forty seven seconds, it skips almost ten seconds to about uh, twenty five minutes and fifty five seconds. And then later on, 
Uh, it skips from 25 minutes, 58 seconds to 26 minutes and 11 seconds. That's another uh, 10, 11, 12 seconds unaccounted for, right? In your face, all right? Completely and utterly disrespecting you and me, right? So there's those inconsistencies. There's those things that are not savory and they don't add up. And then also, I do want to mention that it's hard to tell what exactly those coaches were doing when they got killed. It's kind of easy to see which people were the coaches who got killed, though, because they're blue dots. All right, and in no way does it, in no way does the the animation even imply that it's possible that Hickson got into a wrestling match with Nick Cruz or that they uh, fumbled over the gun or had any sort of alter. There's no, in the animation, Hickson does not attempt to disarm a Nick Cruz. That doesn't happen in the animation. All right. There's countless things, countless. Uh, inconsistencies, holes in people's stories, stuff where it doesn't make sense, stuff where it's not added up, stuff where people leave things out on purpose in front of your face and laugh at you when you gobble up the story. That's what it is. Anyways, I'll holler at y'all later. I appreciate all y'all, and you know who you are. appreciate y'all. I'll holler at y'all later. It's July the 23rd, 2018.